Maybe I'll get an, an, a new rating on my on my own for that one. <laughs> the dick rating. Yeah. yeah. You're making him look like a dick. All right, sorry. Just leave the man alone, man. All right, so do you think the MPAA is homophobic and just trying to protect the interests of the children at all? Well, actually, neither. They don't. They don't. They don't give a damn about children. They don't. They would. You know, if they could market to children, you know, two years old and get away with it, they would. They want to sell as many tickets as possible. But I actually don't think they're really homophobic either. But I think they, their rating system is homophobic, and the reason is, is they get pressure uh, in Washington, D.C., uh, because they're, they're, they're the lobbying organization for, you know, one of the most important uh, trade organizations in the, in the country, in the world. And most of their business they do is not in ratings, but, you know, this, this trade organization does business in D.C., and they're dealing with members of Congress all the time. And many of those members of Congress are from very conservative states. And if, uh, if the MPA started rating films fairly, not rating films more restrictively that have gay content, they would start hearing from those senators and representatives. So they do this, you know, as a sop to those Congress people. And it's, you know, it's, that's what's really disgusting about this is they're doing it, they, you know, they actually, I, th I think most people in Hollywood now are, are you know, are not homophobic, but they're, they're acting homophobic, they're restricting, you know, you know they're you know they're they're doing this just to make a buck really that is just awful it's pretty sick and not in the sense of my movie so did you have any trouble getting other filmmakers to be interviewed for your film i was so surprised that people were really reluctant to be in my film i mean and uh, you know these, these there's some great filmmakers in my film and they were really fantastic but they were afraid and they and, and some of them talk about it in my film they were afraid that their next film might get more harshly rated if they were in a film that was critical of the MPAA and its rating system. Now, I actually think the opposite. I think that once you're in a film like this and you're, you know, you're out and, you know, that the next time your film goes through, the MPAA is going to be under pressure not to rate it harshly because then the press isn't really going to come down on it because the press, you know, love this film because it, it kind of exposed hypocrisy here. Uh, in fact, I, I think that's what happened with Kevin Smith. His next film was um, Clerks 2, I think, is that right? And he, when I was interviewing him, he was sure that was going to get an NC-17 and, and actually got an R. But then I guess his most recent film, what is it, uh, Zach and... Zach and Mary make a porno. Porno, that got an NC-17 initially, didn't it? Yeah. So they, they you know, there's always payback, you know, and so they, they, they got him back. But yeah, they were really afraid. I mean, I was, I, I was, I was kind of surprised. I thought, oh, God, you know, but you know, it's it's tough. It's tough being an independent filmmaker. Um, it uh, and uh, you know, the last thing they want to do is, um, you know, I mean, it's hard enough to get a film made. They don't want to, you know, piss off the most powerful film organization in the country. But you know, I did, so other people can too, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> so Kirby, Felching, your thoughts. <laughs> What can I say? You know, I mean, uh, I think I think people should have a right to talk about felching as much as they want. I mean, and there should be no rating restriction on it, as opposed to actually showing it, as in doing it. That's up to every, anybody who you know. It's an individual choice. Showing it in uh, you know a public theater. I guess I'll let the ratings board be the judge about that one. Okay, I got a question. What? Why is it such a big fuss between R and NC-17 when, if anything, the theater itself is a safe haven for proper theatrical viewing? I used to be a manager at a movie theater, and our main priority was keeping underage kids out of movies that they shouldn't be viewing. But a kid can go home and pull off any DVD off his parent's shelf and or watch anything on the internet, pretty much. So why is the big fuss in theaters when it really should be at home? You woke up. <laughs> um, it's a actually, it's a damn good question. Um, and not only pulling DVDs off the shelf, but any kid can just go on the computer and watch porn anytime they want to now. So it's uh, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Kids are not affected by seeing. <laughs> Leaves the ghost of Jack Delaney. <clears throat> oh shit! Apparently we pissed Apparently, him off. Yeah. I think Jack Villani's ghost got mad and it was just like, you know what? Now! Wait, oh, he's uh, back. He's back. Okay, apparently we didn't piss it's, him off. It's okay, you have to do what you gotta do, Kirby. 
Don't worry about it. We understand. We understand. So, uh, yeah, it's, I mean, the, 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 the reality is, is that, you know, they've done studies and, um, you know, teenagers and adults are, you know, are not affected by sexuality at all. I mean, there is a debate about, you know, violence and there's, there is, uh, I think, some evidence, uh, some studies that support that, you know, sexual violence, especially if it's very extreme, can affect behavior. But sexuality is, uh, you know, uh, even, even the most explicit sexuality is not damaging certainly teenagers, so it's, it's ridiculous. But what, interested, what interests me is, you know, your attempt to keep these kids out of theaters. So tell, tell me about that. Why don't you tell them about that? I will tell them. I want to know. Yeah. Tell me. What'd you do? I do too. Well, you know, we would just follow the kids around, and if they are going into a movie theater they weren't supposed to be in, we'd kick them out. Did you bribe them or anything? No, they didn't bribe me. I mean, did they bribe no. you? Oh, nah, I mean, so, yeah, I mean, they'd be like, yeah, give me 10 bucks or something, I never... You took that money, you dirty liar. No, I did. You went a liar. No, I'm not, guys! I'm, I'm not a liar. I'm not lying. You, liar. Liar. you took that money, how much were you making? Whatever. I'm just saying... No. <laughs> yeah, no comment. You're just digging yourself in a bigger hole. No comment. 